Welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be making potato and cheese cutlets. They're going to have little um, carrots in it as well. I've kind of already started, um, but I've basically just boiled three potatoes, and so it's like this. I haven't mashed it properly yet, um, but three boiled potatoes and one carrot. Just need to chop it up and then put it into a con container and then smash it up. So let's get started. Start by putting the gas on. Wrong one. <laughs> Put it on a high heat. Is that high? Next, you want to take the ghee and then put all of that into the pan. Two tablespoons of ghee. By the way, this is the, the ghee, the pure butter ghee. Get this at an Asian shop. Mix it around, make sure it's all melted. Next, we're gonna put in the onions. So grab your diced half onion and put it straight into the pan. Gonna leave those for a second, let them cook, fry. Now we're gonna put in two te teaspoons of garlic and ginger paste. This is just garlic and ginger blended in a blender. Give it a good old mix. Oh, smells good already. Next, add one teaspoon of salt. That's not much. Give it a good little stir. Make sure it's all blended in nicely. Now, you wanna take your mashed up potato and carrots, that's three potatoes and one carrot, and then put it into the pan. We're gonna lower the gas first. Gas is now lowered, we're gonna put the potato and carrots in now. Onions are burning, taking too long. There we go, everything's in there now. Give it a good old mash. Now that everything is all mashed together, the onions, the potato and the carrots, the ghee. Um, we want to take half a teaspoon of black pepper and one half a teaspoon of curry powder. Like so. And give that another good old mix. Make sure the heat is on low. You want to really make sure everything is mashed and blended together. When you've got that mixed together, you want to take the mix powder, which is this masala chic kebab powder, and you want about two tablespoons. Mix in the mix in that powder. If you want, you can put in cumin powder or coriander powder. It's up to you, whichever you prefer. This is the good stuff. If you want it like mum's, use this. We're gonna now put in um, some gram flour. I'm gonna start doing it slowly, um, just one teaspoon at a time, one tablespoon at a time. I'm gonna do about five um, tablespoons of gram flour for now and see how that goes. If I need more, I'll add more after. Give that a good mix. If you want, if you have a spicy palate, you can add chilies, but I'm not a fan of chili, so I didn't add them in. It's looking good now, it's all mixed together. Now we want to add in corn flour. Two tablespoons of corn flour. Now mix it together really quickly. It's a very, very simple thing to make. Very easy, especially if I can make it. So now that everything is all mixed together now, um, you want to turn off the gas. Now we're going to wait for five minutes for all of this to cool down. And then afterwards, we're going to add an egg. Because if we put it in now, it's just going to cook and it's not going to mix as well. See you in one second. Five minutes are up. So now that the pan has kind of cooled down a bit, 
time to put in the egg. Give it a good mash. If you haven't done so already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Helps me out. Oh, it's looking good. So that container we had earlier, we're going to put all of this mixture into there. Now that we've transferred the contents, we're going to make sure we wash our hands and then we're going to start um, shaping these. Hands are washed, now we're ready to begin. A top tip is to use some oil and just put it onto your hands so then when you do make this it doesn't stick. We're also going to need breadcrumbs, I forgot to mention. Um, you can just get like a loaf of bread and rip it up and you'll have breadcrumbs. Lightly greased. Get some of the mixture, roll it into a ball. You can have it either in a ball or in a sausage shape or a circle, it's up to you. It's all going to taste the same anyway. So we're going to push down in the middle. So this is for the cheese to go inside, like so. Not too much, so the, like this, because otherwise the cheese will come through the other end. So if you have gone too far, you can just re-roll it and redo it. Next, you want to get the cheese, mozzarella advised. You can have cheddar if you want cheddar. So now you want to put the cheese inside like this and then just fold it. You want a bit more cheese. Now that the cheese is inside, you just want to roll it up, just like you did before. Quite a big one, this one. Fun fact, this is the first time I am making it. <laughs> Here's my very first potato and cheese cutlet. Ta -da! Now we've got some egg. We're going to roll this in there, and then we're going to roll it in the breadcrumbs. So I just got myself a plate so I can make these and put it on there. Then you just want to keep on making as many as you can with all the mixture and then do the egg yolk at the end it makes it easier because otherwise you get all the bits all of these. Now my first one was too big so I'm going to make it smaller now. Make the space in the middle then put the cheese in. So just like before we've got the cutlet and we put the cheese in the middle and just fold it up. And my mum's helping me out making some just around the corner. Out the shot. Um, what you don't want is for them to open up like this obviously because then the cheese will come out when you put it in in the fryer. If it does happen just re-roll it and be fine. Now that we have rolled everything doesn't matter about the size or the shape. Okay I had a little rearrange so now that you've got everything ready um, you just need the egg and you're gonna grab your cutlets roll it in and then uh, mix it in the breadcrumbs. The top tip is to sprinkle the breadcrumbs onto the tray and then it won't stick to it. They're all done now, um, but I'm going to put them in the fridge for like about an hour just because then it will stick together because if I put it into the oil now, it's all just going to like come apart. We are back. I've just taken this out the fridge now and we are ready to fry it. So now we're going to put the gas on. We're going to put it on high heat. I used one litre of oil. Gonna wait for the oil to heat up now and then we're gonna drop them in. A good test is to grab a piece of this breadcrumb and drop it in just to see. We are ready. What you want to look for is for it to be golden brown. Do this with a pan. Voila. Look at this, they're absolutely amazing, so good. Definitely recommend, you've got to make this. If you're watching this, buy everything and make it because you will not be disappointed. A big thank you to my mum for showing me how to make this and for making it every iftar because it is so good. That's all from me today, I hope you enjoyed. 
do make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below what else you want me to make. That wasn't it. <laughs> And I'll see you in the next one.